Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Aries um, for June 1st to the 15th, 2020. I would like to say, do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. These readings, they may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Somebody out there might actually find them entertaining. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. We do like to radiate with that true love energy around here. Happy, friendly, and loving types because we have nothing to fear because we're calm and we're cheerful. Okay. So let's get started with the sign of Aries. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node, okay? If you're not sure what that is, you sure can look it up. It's really neat. All right. Um, this is for June 1st to the 15th, 2020. And this is for um, Aries. I already pre-shuffled, but of course I'm going to do that one shuffle so I can get the general energy. These cards are super big. I chose them and, you know, I'm already uh, through a lot of the readings. So I'm just going to stick with them. They're just really hard flyers, you know what I mean? All right, so this is for Aries. General energy is the Ten of Swords, okay? So I see here Ruin. What happened? It seems that there's been some deception, right? Some deception will be occurring for you, maybe. You know, I mean, wow. But there is deception here. And we're going to try to find out what that's all about, okay? Let me get a card for Aries, please. Let me get a card for Aries, please. Let me get one card for Aries at this present time for June 1st to the 15th, 2020 for Aries. Let me get some money. I have five cards out for Aries if I can. Five cards for Aries. There's one. Five cards for Aries. I wish my hands were bigger. That's what kind of sucks about these because these cards are huge. A bad choice for the size. <laughs> okay, so we got two. Let me get another three. Let me get three more cards right here, please. Let me get three more cards. Let me put this here. Let me put this here. Let me just, you know, let me get three more cards for Aries, please. Oh, thank you. Two, three. Let me get one more card for Aries, please. Let me get one more card for Aries, please. One more card for Aries, please. One more card for Aries. Please. One more card. <laughs> Making me work. One more card for Aries, please. One more card for Aries, please. One more card for Aries, please. <laughs> All right, guys. <clears throat> Oh, this one's got to go back. But look, it's the Ace of Wands. Okay, it's going back. Um, and then we got the Queen of Wands. There you are. There you are. As the solution, right, to the problem. Hmm. Okay, so let's start from the beginning here. You are in um, this Queen of Discs energy, but in the reverse, okay? Possibly not having stability right now, not being grounded, not being very balanced. You know, you are this Queen of Discs, but you are lacking in an area, right, of your life. Now we also have wish fulfillment here okay and this is are you on the correct path and it's showing me i mean you're finding happiness and wish fulfillment that's cool you know now what the main obstacle is this knight of swords you might be getting some information in that you're not very happy about all right 
Um, it's coming in quickly. Um, I also hear, see the Seven of Wands here. And the Seven of Wands is about defending themselves, right? Somebody's trying to defend themselves. Somebody's tr struggling to stay ahead here to, you know, they're, they're being vigilant though, right? But they're, they're, you know, they're standing up for themselves, what they believe, defending themselves, okay? It might be involving a Leo, all right? I also see here Queen of Wands. There you are. Okay, that could be you, the Queen of Wands, you know. Um, but, you know, how progress can be made is working with this Queen of Wands. So I'm taking it that it's not you, all right. Um, it's, I'm taking it that you uh, may have to work with this other. So you could be Aries in this Queen of Discs energy, not doing so well, though. Uh, and there could be uh, possibly a Leo in your environment and... Um, trying to deal with that person um, and that is the actual progress that can be made so maybe you don't get along with this person all right I mean that's that's what it can be you know maybe there was some deception involved in this relationship with this person and it appears that somebody is spying on somebody though somebody's watching somebody so that could be you Aries watching somebody or somebody could be watching you, you know, trying to push that over there. <laughs> Can you guys see it? The cards are so huge. And this table is like, you know what I'm saying? All right, let me fix it. I just didn't want to get off my fan, but there. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay. So, that's what's going on here. Somebody's watching. They're watching you. All right. Somebody's watching somebody. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards with this Queen of Discs here. Why is um, why is Aries in the Queen of Discs energy, right? Why is she? Why is this describing her right now? First of all, well, we have there was some lies involved in whatever is going on in your situation presently, in your own personal mind, thoughts, and you know your life at this present, right? And this. Uh, these lies could be involving some sort of passionate message that went out to somebody, and that could have definitely went out to a Queen of Wands. All right, now, there she is again. You know, you, we know, are radiating in the Queen of Discs energy. So when the Queen of Wands comes out, the Queen of Wands comes out as this person, but you because it's here in your row, this is you showing passion that you found some message, okay? You found a message of passion that went out somewhere and somebody lied about it, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, yeah, this is a three-party situation. Somebody was actually sharing emotions or something with another individual, okay? And it could be another fire sign. This could be a double... Uh, a three-party situation with two fire signs. Yeah, and somebody's feeling left out in the cold because of it. You could be feeling left out in the cold, okay? Um, there could be you and another fire sign involved here, and maybe you are the one who's feeling left out in the cold. You know where the fire sign is. Um, I do see you in the reverse position, so this definitely could be you because you're not doing so good right now, right? Why is this Nine of Wands, oh, I'm sorry, this Nine of Cups here um, on whether or not Aries is on the correct path? Is Aries on the correct path? Why is this Nine, nine of Cups here for Aries? Oops. Nine of Cups for Aries. Why is it here? Why is this Nine of Cups here? Okay, I think that's good. Oh, shoot. Okay, I guess. All right, well, we got more than five cards. So, first of all, we have uh, Aries. This could be you. Oh, oh no. Th this is, are you on the correct path? Okay, so yeah, this can be you. Okay, um, in a king energy, on the correct path, trying to stand up for whatever you got going on, right, passionate. Not doing too well on the money, but, or beginning with what, you might be trying to start a business of some sort, so maybe the business is not starting out so well, 
Um, but you know, we go through ups and downs when it comes to business and you just got to keep climbing again. Okay. Just get back on and just keep trying until some, you know, it's, it'll happen, you know, be positive. You know, you might even have a lot of options here in regards to, um, this, whatever's going on here. So maybe it is a business and you might have many options to go in regards to this and the, your money. Okay. I also see the two of cups. Okay. So this could actually be love too. Okay. So maybe you're in a partnership or in a business with a person that um, you love very much, right? Could be a relationship business, like how you see husbands and wives or even family businesses um, that thrive together, right? Um, we also have the Queen of Pentacles here. And look, this is in the upright. So basically, if you're on the right path, then, I mean, you are on the right path here. I do see you in the upright. I see things working out in regards to options. Maybe you have different business ideas. The money's not going to start out that great. And it's also involving this King of Wands. So this could be you dealing with a Queen of Pentacles here, right? And But I do see that this, uh, this Queen of Pentacles may not actually uh, want to do this. And this is why you're feeling left out in the cold. Because this is also the death card. So this Queen of Pentacles may not want to have anything to do with the situation, right? That's what it looks like. What is the main obstacle here? Okay, what is the main obstacle here? What is the main obstacle here? What is the main obstacle here? Why is this Knight of Swords here? Why is the main obstacle this Knight of Swords here? Let's see. <clears throat> So basically, we have the Two of Swords, okay? So you're going to receive some sort of message that comes in, Aries, and you're going to have to make a choice, okay? Now, this choice could lead you to wish fulfillment, and that's good. But I don't see you trying to work on it, all right? And this could be a message that comes in in regards to love. All right, and this is why it might be harsh and direct because you might be hearing about love, about something from someone from the past, okay? And this is why you might not want to be working on it, okay? Let me see if I get, yeah, see you. There you go. Okay, there's going to be victory in a situation. It might be this one too, okay? But this is not only just victory. This card is also the tower card, all right? And the tower card actually is showing that, yes, the tower is going to come down. Now, somebody's going to have victory in this situation, but they're going to have victory in the situation after the tower moment occurs. Okay, now this could be you. It could be happening to you, and it could be in regards to that deception right there, that backstabbing deception, Ten of Swords energy. All right. So now let's find out what's actually helping you here. And it looks like the Seven of Wands is helping you. All right. Now, even though it's a struggle to stay ahead, you're still being vigilant. And you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or actually a Leo. Okay. Those are the two. Actually, I'm sorry. not That's not Sagittarius. It's actually a woman Leo. All right. And that's here showing me Queen of Wands here. But this is what's helping you. Okay. This is actually who's helping you. Now, why is that Seven of Wands there? All right. Seven of Wands. So there's a sub female who was a Leo who may be actually helping you out or doing something, defending you, or you could be defending yourself from this person. I don't, you know, let's see. Sounds kind of, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We do have the Five of Wands, okay? So the Five of Wands is indicating that you might be stressing over the situation in your head about this situation. But this person appears to want to actually help you in a certain way, maybe, right? I don't, you know, or, or look, we got the Seven of Swords here. There was deception here, and this is why you're caught up in your head. Maybe it is you who has done the deception, who's caught up in your head and needs to defend yourself in regards to this Queen of Wands. What will help you is possibly you apologizing for something that you've done or them doing that for you. But what if it's helping you, I think it's something that you need to do. That's what's going to help you. All right. Them apologizing to you doesn't sound like it's going to help you. 
that doesn't sound right. It doesn't fit. But you apologizing to them about deception in the past, maybe you have one more fight in your left to do this, one more fight left to actually come clean. You could actually be dealing with a king of swords, air sign. Okay. I do see, yeah, we have air sign and we have earth sign. Okay. And we obviously, you are the queen of discs, okay? And whoever you're dealing with, because, you know, we have you, this is your energy, queen of discs. You actually turn that around, right? We also have you as the queen of wands over here, but we have a separate queen of wands over here, okay? So this is how I'm feeling that. We do have you, could be uh, also, this could be you, the king of wands, right? Um, or you could be dealing with the king of wands, all right? That could also be it. And we also have a king of swords, and that's where that guy slips in a little bit later, right? Hmm. You may actually have, be in your head about deception, that you did with this king of swords. Oh, and you may have done this deception to a Leo female. That's not very nice if you did, or you know, the story can be turned around. We're looking for the queen of wands around right now. The queen of wands is somebody from the past who is just not, might not be from the just immediate past, but, you know, I mean, it might not be from the past, past, far down the line, but it could be somebody from the past who is actually, um, you know, easy to get, give you up or give them up because they don't know you that that well. You know, maybe you've had something with this person and the progress that can be made is by you possibly separating uh, yourself from this uh, Queen of Wands energy. Uh you're not getting along with them anyways, right? Um, you may want to work something out with them or they might want to work something out, but yeah, I don't feel like, <laughs> I don't feel like so good about that. I don't feel too, too good about that. Okay, and this can't be you mad at yourself, no. I mean, it could be. But what I'm catching here is this is another fire sign that you Aries are just not getting along well with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this fire sign is a single woman who speaks her truth, who has absolutely no emotional fulfillment or emotional feeling for you or anybody in this whole situation for that matter. So yeah, that's basically what I see here. And progress can be made by just, you know, this person is just not really, she's not going to take any bull and she doesn't have any emotional you know, she's emotionally strong and she's not going to start any emotional beginnings with anybody uh, from the past. And, and she, when it comes to working things out, she's going to work things out um, as a single woman, as herself, because she stands in her truth and she does not want to share any emotions with anybody right here. So basically, progress can be made if you just leave her alone because you're just going to be stuck in your head. You know, you're going to be, this is, this is going to turn into your main obstacle. Why do that? This person doesn't want this. So just leave it be and continue your own stuff and be happy for yourself, right? Find, you know, that King of Pentacles energy in you. Maybe he's out there waiting for you, Aries. Maybe an Aries is looking for you, a King of Pentacles. You know, that's what I'm trying to say, shoot. Right, so let's go ahead and move these up and we're going to grab some love messages. Okay, and you guys, I still have them because I couldn't figure out how to figure out how to uh, see who liked the video. So I couldn't like do the raffle thing. So if you just want to win these, whatever, just go drop, click the drop down below, find my email and just email me and say, I want the cards and then I'll throw you in a name thing and I'll do the little pick the name you know and I'll pick I'll pick like two of them so if one of them doesn't respond I'll do the next one so if you want these just that's all you gotta do anyways and I'll announce in like a week or two or something when I get a nice juicy amount of people if I get anybody if anything okay oh I didn't even read it um but he, these are the two cards okay look so you're dealing 
you were dealing with a nasty person there, Aries, and 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 this could be you or another person. But I don't feel. I think that that's that's not going to be happening anymore. Okay, you're you're out of that mode. You're out of that energy, right? Divine timing. Let's go on an adventure. Ooh, synchronicities. You might be seeing these things, right? We have the letter F, R, B, J, D, and L. Okay. What do we got right here? You might be a gracious and very friendly person. We have a connection. You could be dealing with somebody who is a rat, year of the rat, right? Somebody who likes art. Ooh, nice. We also have S, E, and C, and the letter M. Okay, so those letters, maybe first, middle, last, initial, or you can spell a word, or it could be an acronym, or whatever you think, you know, whatever resonates. Next, we have the word superior. Um, you may think of somebody as being superior, or somebody may be thinking that of you. The past returns, and I choose you. What a beautiful message, right? We have the letter Z, T, X, V, and G. Oh, I also see S. Oh, we. I see the number two. I see the number two. Did I say that? Okay, okay. And I also see D here. Okay, first, middle, last, acronym, or spell a word. Let's see what's next. Look, three white ones, huh? Let's see what we, okay, here's that yellow. All right, so we have winning and genius. So maybe in the past you weren't winning, but it looks like you're turning that around. Maybe also in the past you didn't think of yourself as very keen. But I do see here the word genius. So possibly spirit is saying, hey, buddy, you're a genius. Don't uh, let anybody tell you you're not. So maybe somebody was telling you that you're not smart, this, that, and the other. And that's very mean. We have Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Horse. You're of the horse. Chinese astrology. You are cute. Oh, that's very nice, right? So we have the letter G, C, T, X, A, J, Y, and N. And we also have the number 8. Okay, that could resonate with somebody out there. The number eight, born on the eighth day, born on the eighth month. Something's going to happen in eight minutes. You're going to get a text in eight days. Who knows, you know, but eight is in there. All right, so we have, okay, snake. Somebody could actually be a snake in the midst, you know, and that is the main message on the card. That is the only message that I can see that's usable, all right? Or it could, you could be dealing with somebody who is year of the snake, Chinese astrology, right? We have the letter T. We have the letter... Uh, the number three, those are the two um, things apparent there. We have snake, the letter T, and the number three. Three-party situation, possibly? Who knows, all right? So <clears throat> let me go ahead and set these down. We're going to go find out what is going on with the chakras, how you guys are doing on that. Um, I do see, okay, okay, yes, I see good stuff here. I don't see nothing in the reverse, okay? And that's telling me that you are you are almost fully aligned, okay? Your or uh, your um, sacral and solar plexus chakra doing great, right? Now your meanings associated with emotions and creativity, sexuality, also your mental activities, intellect, and personal power and will doing a great job. Dang it! All right, we do have somebody that was kind of uh, working on their uh, third eye. Looks like you're almost there, buddy. Whoever's doing that, doing a good job. Stability, also working on that. Not fully 100%, but hey, you're getting there. And I also see the the heart chakra is like opening up. Okay, now I don't see any. I don't see any throat chakras here. So, you know what? Just keep working. Keep trucking. That'll come along, okay? That'll come along. Or maybe it's open for you, okay? It, but it's not. It hasn't made an appearance here. So, I mean, I mean that's cool. Don't worry. Because, you know, it, it comes in time. If it's not there and you're not very good on speaking to people, it'll come. Don't worry. All right? So, that's what I have for you, Aries, uh, for... Uh, June 1st to the 15th, 2020, okay, um, yeah, keep it happy, friendly, and loving, right, true love energy, nothing to fear, because we're calm and cheerful, yes, we are, okay, I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you guys next time, bye.